Hey guys, it's AC Cat F, and welcome to Let's Play Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. I am just so, so excited to start this. I just ran to GameStop right as it opened, and I just flew in there. I was like, give me my game. I pre-ordered it and everything. I got the cute little poster, and oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. I've been counting down the days, and yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started because this is going to be so exciting. I'm so ready to design homes for everybody. And it's just, it just looks so cute. And look at this. Oh my gosh. Tom Nook, today is the day our new employee arrives. Yes, yes. The new addition should be here at any moment, so I shall use this time to double check the hiring forms. Hmm, now where have those hiring forms gotten themselves off to? I'm certain they were right here. Pardon me, Lottie. Perhaps you know. Do you remember the new hire's name? And Lottie is our new character. I think she's Lyle's niece. I'm not really sure. What? You don't remember? Please, Mr. Nook, try to keep it together. If I recall correctly, the name was... Alright, so now we get to put in my name. My name is Catherine, but it doesn't fit. And so we're just gonna go with Cat. That is my name. Yes, that's it. I'm sure of it. The new hire's name is Cat, right? Right. Honestly, Mr. Nook, you really need to keep better track of these things. Oh, Nook's being yelled at. He's not the one in charge anymore. Oh, ho, ho. I'm certainly blanked out on that name for a moment. And it's such a nice name, too. Oh, Nook, you're so cute. And we have his little pots and pans up there, too. A rare moment of forgetfulness for me. I'm sure it won't happen again. Now, from what I recall, this new employee happens to be... We are a girl. But I'm certain she's a girl. Yes. Yes, yes. She is a girl, of course. Now, if only I could remember what she looks like. Alright, so it's time to create our character. And I basically already have an idea of what I want to do. Since I have seen, you know, like, pictures of uh, this game before. And I was, like, looking at it. And I was being a little bit, uh... I already saw some spoilers, but not not a, not a lot, you know. Uh, but alright, so let's create myself. I am very pale. So, uh... I think I'm going to go with this. And my eye... Oh, wait. I guess I should pick my eyes first. And I always, always go with these eyes. These are actually my new leafed eyes in my personal game. And we're going to go... We're going to go with this color. Because it actually is, like, my my uh, my eye color in real life. But you can also pick a bunch of these. And they're just the basic eye colors. And you can also make your skin tone very dark now. Which I think is an amazing feature. And yeah, alright, so we got our, our face down, so let's pick our hairstyle. Ooh, there's just so many to pick from. Uh, I'll just go through them really quickly. And it looks like they're just the uh, old hairstyles from the New Leaf games and stuff like that. But uh, I already picked this hairstyle for myself. But yeah, so I already picked this hairstyle for myself. And let's see all the colors. Oh, this is so cool. You can have blue. Oh, I love the green. The purple is really awesome. The dark blue is my favorite, I think. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go with brown. Is this brown or is it? No, this is brown. I I hope it looks a little bit weird. Although my hair is kind of like that dark blackish brown, so we're gonna confirm. Of course, this is what she looks like. Yes. Oh, yes, that is me. Oh. Look at that, we're ready to start working. Ah, I remember her perfectly now. There's no forgetting a person like Kat. Of course you remember me. <gasps> ah, good morning, Kat. Welcome to Nook's Homes. Come in, allow me to introduce you to everyone. Yes, yes. Here we are. Oh my gosh. Everyone, this is Kat. Starting today, she'll be working with us at Nook's Homes. Yay! Oh, they're so cute. Look at Lottie's hair. Perhaps I should give you a quick introduction. Perhaps I should give you a quick introduction to each of your new colleagues. Hmm. This fellow here is Lyle. We all know Lyle. Bang! Nice to meet you, Cat. Lyle is something of a veteran in this office. He's been here almost as long as I have. In fact, he's so good at what he does. Even I don't quite understand what he's doing most of the time. Ha ha ha, I'm kidding. Of course I know how everything works. Now then, our next... Uh, now then, next is our dog about town. Digby! Nice to meet you! My name's Digby. He kind of took over Isabel's greeting from New Leaf. I think that's really cool. It's a pleasure to have you working here with us, Kat. I hope we'll get the chance to work together on a project really soon. I do too. Digby is certainly one of our most enthusiastic employees, as you might have gathered. He's like, yay, I don't have to stand outside anymore. Finally, let me introduce Lottie. Ahem, Lottie? Yes? Oh, hi there. I guess she's taking over, like, Isabel's kind of work. 
Lottie is an exceptional employee and a consummate professional. She's an expert in home design. Nice. Lottie will be handling your training as well, so pay attention and follow her advice. As you all know, I'm very busy, Raccoon, so that wraps up today's meeting. Lottie, she's all yours. Goodbye, my obedient employees. Busy, busy, oh so busy. Yay, so we can get started on working. And before we start working, I just want to say the houses, I'm going to work my hardest to make them look awesome. So these videos might be kind of long, but we're just, you know, going to chill, chat about life stuff, and it should be a lot of fun. So that boss of ours, he likes to complain about his busy schedule. Even though we all know he's just rushing off to make his tea time. Ha! Well, enough about golf. Ooh, he likes golf. Let's get you settled in. We're so glad you joined the company, Cat. I'm sure you can't wait to hear about the work you'll be doing at Nook's home, so let's get to it. To start, I want to, you to do a simple interior remodel on a client's home. You'll pick out the wallpaper, new carpet, and some new furniture. Basically, you're going to give the room a complete makeover. I am so excited. It's like The Sims and Animal Crossing mixed together. There's a practice room all ready for you. I'll come along and teach you the basics. But before we get started, you should take this. Ooh, ooh, our uniform. Now we get to look snazzy like everybody else. There's a changing room upstairs, so head up and change into your uniform. I'll be writing right here. All right, so now we can explore the office, and it looks pretty cool. So this is Lottie's desk, and I think this is where we actually save. And this is Nook's desk. Look at all that. All right, but let's head upstairs and get changed into our snazzy red uniform. Ooh, we have the sewing machine again. Ooh, the hair stylist thingy my bobber. All right, so let's get in here and see how we look. How is it? <gasps> we look great. We look good in red. All right, I'm so excited. Ah, all the little details in here is just so cute. Like those uh, umbrella holders, like, oh my gosh. All right, so let's go talk to Lottie again. Ah, perfect fit. Mr. Look, look, Mr. Nook likes to see his employees wear the company uniform, so make sure you wear it tomorrow. Yes, we do know that. Of course, you can accessorize your uniform however you'd like. Use the changing room for that. Are you ready to learn all about interior design? Yes, I am. Oh, look at that. Everyone's clapping. Ooh, we get a car. I think, like, they just, like, pretend you drive there. Oh, here we go. We're gonna get started. All right, your training is officially underway. By the way, this is the real home you're working on, so take good care of this place. The client who lives here is a girl and who is a fan of all things cute. She requested a room with a lovely atmosphere. So let's turn this empty space into something lovely. All right, so first we want to see if the cardboard box is in there. So I guess we just tap it. An utterly charming room. Ooh, we have a lovely couch. Or is that, were there lovely furniture? I think. Good job, that lovely love seat is actually one of the client's most prized possessions. You find clients often have pieces that are very attached to. They love it when you incorporate their pieces into your design, so be sure to do so. All right, so whatever they give us in the house, we have to use, so we have to incorporate this chair somehow. Uh, of course, you can't just plop furniture down any old way and expect it to work. All right, so how do we change it? So we tap on the block on the touch screen, like we did before, and give it a try, okay. Oh, sweet, oh, it like, bumped us out of the way. Great, you're a fast learner. I like that. Next up, let's talk about how to move things. It's a cinch. Just drag the block on the screen. All right. This is way easier uh, than, you know, pushing and pulling, which I think you can actually do. But we're just going to pick this up and we'll just, whoa, we'll just put it like right there. Yes, just like that. Now you know how to place and orient furniture like a pro, which you are, of course, are we? are we but this room is going to need more than a single sofa before we can call it done all right so now we get a bunch of furniture we can actually put into her room or the room uh, all right so let's click on this see what we got so we have a bed uh, we got a lovely bed uh, lots of tables uh, oh we have the marshmallow chair uh, nice vanities uh, we have oh my gosh this is my favorite item ever uh, we got some bathroom stuff and we have you know, little odds and ends. What else do we have? Ooh, plants. And what do they what do they call this? I guess I don't know. A drafting table. We also have a flowery painting and a bunch of uh, toy things. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Is there like? Does she want me to just like talk to her again after I do that? I I like missed it. Oh, okay, furniture. I thought she wanted us to put like wallpaper and stuff down. All right. So let's see. Um, I'm thinking we should start like as a bedroom. So let's. 
Let's do this. Ooh, look at that. There you go. And that's how you choose furniture to suit your client's taste. But furniture isn't the only tool in the home designer's toolkit. Wall decorations are important too. All right, so this is what I thought we were doing. All right, so we can pick out our wall decorations. So we got some clocks and let's see, ooh, another painting. So let's, let's put a, I like this painting. So let's put it, oh, just flies right onto the wall. A bold choice, I like it. It's amazing for me to see how different designers have different sense of style. Oh, I almost forgot the wallpaper and the flooring. All right. So, uh, wait, once you make your choice, press B or tap on the right, okay. So let's see, what kind of wallpaper do we want? Uh, hmm. Oh gosh, I don't know. This is like one of my favorite wallpapers of all time, but I don't know if it really matches. Uh, let's, let's just go. I do like that. Let's see what kind of flooring. So we have neutral floor, birch flooring, and common floor. Uh, I like the neutral floor. Let's see what this actually, mm, no. I think this goes with the, the theme better. Yeah, we'll do this. All right. Look at that. Do you see how you can change the room's uh, atmosphere by changing the walls and floors? Now let's place a rug to complete the room's design. All right. I can't wait till we can actually like design this room. Let's see. So we have uh, a couple, fl oh wow. We can make them small, medium, or large. That is amazing. We have a heart rug and a lovely rug. Uh, let's see, what does the medium rug look like? Oh, wait. Oh, I kind of like it. You, my dear, are natural at home designing. Amazing. Now to round out the training, why don't you go ahead and place furniture as we like. Yay. All right. So now we can just create the house as we like it, and we can change our viewpoint with the little whatever this is called. I don't know. All right. Let's go see. Let's see what we can do. All right. Should we be, she will be waiting. All right. So I do like this rug, but let's see. I don't know how I want or where I want to put the bed. We could just be like, be like basic and just put it right there, which, you know, it looks kind of cool. I do like it. Uh, um, let's see. Can we put this? No. Uh, how do we like turn it around? Uh, I guess we can't. I wanted to, but I guess it has to be on the wall. I wanted it to like sit like this way. Oh, there we go. All right. So let's see. Uh, we got our painting up here which I don't really know where to put it. Oh wow, this is weird. All right, uh, I kind of like it there. That looks kind of cool. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, we have a bunch of tables, oops. You know, that looks kind of cute actually, hold up. Let's see, what about this table? That kind of matches. What, if, what would it look like here? Oh, uh, that's that's kind of cool, cool, cool. And actually, the really cool thing about this is you can like scooch in between. And I guess we could like sit up here if we want. But I really like that. And the, oh, it has the cutest sound effect. All right, let's see. I don't really want that. We will put. Mm, let's actually put an end table. Oops. We'll put an end table by our bed and make it super cutesy. There we go. And let's see, we got some chairs. We do have the marshmallow chair, which I really want to use actually. So let's put that in here. And then I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna bring a bunch of stuff out that I want to use. Where's that little home rack? Oh, it's so cute. All right, let's put that, oops. Oh, it's like inverted. It's really weird. All right, uh, let's put that right here. Can I switch it around? There we go. And then we have our little marshmallow chair. We can chill out here and let's see, what else can I put? Uh, let's see, well we got a lamp. Ooh, we got the small magazine rack, which I think would look really cute. And, oh, look at that. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, uh, I've been waiting for this for so long. I, I'm actually kind of sick right now. I don't know if you can tell, but I was like, oh no, I'm gonna be sick and I won't be able to, oh, I can't put that up there. Oh, whoops. But I was like, oh no, I'll be sick and I won't be able to record for everybody. But uh, I'm actually feeling, I mean, I feel a little, I feel sick, but I don't think I sound as sick as I feel, if that makes sense. All right. Uh, so I guess I could leave that lamp there, but we also have this cute, like, kitchen stuff, and I want to put that in here somewhere. Uh, let's put it, can we, like, put this table, hmm, I don't know if I like this um, couch placement, but let's put this right here, and, mm, no, that doesn't look that good. Well, you know what? I'll keep it, I guess. 
I think we can put this here. Let's spin that. And maybe we can make like a little kitchen. Does it have a, uh, what's it called? Oh wait, we have the clocks too. Does it have like a little fridge? We do have a fridge, nice. We're gonna put that here. And we'll flip that around. And I kinda like this. Let's put a chair right here in front of our table. Maybe I can like move this right in the middle of the room and make it like a little dining area. And then I will just flip, oops, I flipped the carpets. Oh, that looks so cute. All right, let's actually duplicate the chair. I know there's there's probably a way to do that, but I'll just drag this out right now. And, oh, I really like this room. I would so live here if I was in Animal Crossing. All right, let's see. So we got like a toilet and stuff, but I don't really think that matches. So I'm just going to, oh, we don't have a vanity. Uh, we'll just see where this goes. What does this look like? I guess she liked that. I don't know. Or maybe she was surprised. Let's see. Uh, I kind of like that. I kind of, it's kind of cute. All right, we're gonna, we're just gonna go with that maybe, or maybe I'll just switch this around. Maybe. Mm. Nah, I liked it the other way. All right, I've never really been like a fan of the lovely furniture in uh, the usual Animal Crossing games, but, or the mainstream Animal Crossing games. I actually wanna see what this looks like. Drafting table, ooh, she really liked that. Oh no, that doesn't really match in here. Shoot. Uh, well, I guess I could put it there. Mm, it looks kind of out of place. I don't really want that in there. Uh, I hope she doesn't mind, but let's see. We do have some plants, which I haven't used yet. We do have, oh yay, we have these little gyroids. <gasps> the cute little pink gyroid. Let's put her here. Can we get past the chair now? I don't even know, but actually we'll just put it like right there. There we go. All right, so I think I'm actually pretty satisfied with this room. And it will actually give us like a little tour of the room when we're done. So that'll be pretty awesome. Let's see, anything else I'm missing? I feel like, oh, we have some plants. So let's see what these look like. Uh, should I put that there? I'm going like all out on the first try. Ah, no, we don't need a plant. All right, so I think we're done with this room. I think it looks pretty freaking adorable. So we're just gonna talk to her. Oh, are you done already? All done. I hope you like it. Excellent. It seems you've done a fairly decent job. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Yay, we get the little preview. Oh, this is going to be so cute. An utterly charming room. I hope. I hope they like it. Oh, look at that. I'm going to take a picture. <laughs> oh, the music. I'll be quiet during these. Gotta take a picture. I'm so proud of it. I don't know why. I would live here. Oh, I hope she liked it. Oh wow, look at this place. I can't believe I get to live in such a lovely room. Oh snap, thanks so much. Oh, did I forget to mention that it's actually my house? Good thing we did a good job on it. I just bought the place, but don't, oh, but work has kept me so busy that I haven't had time to decorate. To tell you the truth, I've been cuddling up on a sleeping bag on the bare floor. Oh no, ridiculous, right? But it looks like a little help from a promising new designer was just what I needed. I'll be sure to let the boss know you passed your training with flying colors. Now that I think it's time we head back to the office. All right, so that was our first design job and it was actually Lottie's house, which is pretty awesome. And I feel like I've been playing this for ages. And this game actually doesn't have a real clock, so I'll just probably end videos, you know, after our day of work or after designing two villagers' houses or something like that. I don't know. So, be honest. Did you love your first day on the job? You did really well, so I bet you loved it. I did love it. But you can come up front with me if you didn't love the job. What I want to know is, can you handle it? I was born to do this. Yes, I was. 
Just as I thought, you really are the right person for the job. I'm glad to hear you think so, too. As a matter of fact, I was really impressed with the decor room that you decorated for me today. Well, we guarantee satisfaction here at Nook's Homes, so I had to make sure we were up to snuff. In a perfect world, I'd have a few more months but to train you properly, but I can't hold you back forever. We have a client scheduled to come in tomorrow morning. Oh, we have a client scheduled to come in tomorrow morning to talk about the interior mo remodel request. I'm going to let you take on that as your first real job. Yay! So we'll probably do that in the next part. we got a big day tomorrow but you, so we can head home, but we have to write a daily report. All right. So she's going to show us to our desk. But yeah, so I'll probably just end this after this day of work and we'll be back tomorrow for the next uh, client's job. Your desk and chair back here on the left, so take a seat and write your daily report. You need to write up a report every day when you're finished with your work, so basically she's just telling us to save. And it's the little details like this that keep Nook's homes running like the well-oiled machine. Chug chug. Thanks for all your hard work today, Tiger. Keep it up. Uh, what's the daily report? Oh, it's... Oh, sit down at your desk and write up a short report on the day's work. Alright. Business hours are over, but you can keep playing or er, working. And after saving, select continue to move on to the next day's work or quit to stop playing. All right, so this was so much fun. I had a blast. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this as much as I will. And I hope you guys enjoyed this part. And I will see you guys in our next video when we see our first client. Bye!